Hi, so today I'm going to explain how the AH3 relay timer works. Uh, there's some variations. This one's called the NC variation by Anley. This particular one has, allows you to change the, the time range and it has a mode A and B which I'll explain. But uh, most of them, uh, they're basically the same uh, in terms of the pin configuration which I, uh, there's a little picture here. And what happened was I was, I had one of these and I was trying to figure out how, how it worked. And I just could not find a good video on, to explain clearly how these things work. And so I'm going to do that now for you. This is not a video, this is not an electronic tutorial. If you don't basically know, already know how a relay works, this isn't going to help you. But if you basically know how a relay works, if you watch this video, by the time you're finished, you'll know exactly how to use the AH3 relay. Okay, this is the first of four pictures I'm going to show you. And this picture is set up for a delayed off. So let me explain the pins. Pin 7 and pin 2 are the power to the coil. So that's what controls the relay. That's what controls the magnetism, the coil. And they are not connected to any other pins. They're totally separate from any other pins. <clears throat> then you have two sets of three. You have 8 being the common to 6 and 5. And you have 1 being the common to 4 and 3. Now in mode A, this is a double pole, double throw switch. What does that mean? It means that these are both 8 and 1 are considered to be common, but they're separate poles, which means they control s two separate circuits. So you have 8, 6, and 5 acting together, and 1, 4, and 3 being a set. Okay, so let's look what's happening here. Um, NC stands for normally closed, which means on. NO means normally open, which means off. So in this configuration, we have the common going to a battery, the battery going to a light bulb, the light bulb going to 5, which is normally closed. So normally closed means it's connected to 8. 5 and, con and 8 are connected by default when there's no current going to the coil. Now let's say I set the timer to 1 minute. Well, when there's no current going to the coil, nothing is happening, it's just the current is going through here and it's and the light bulb is on okay now let's say I now supply current to um, 7 and 2 so now the relay is in the activated position okay now there's going to be a delay when I supply current to 7 and 2 the light bulb is still going to be on for one minute after one minute because I set the timer for one minute the light bulb will go off and it will stay off as long as there's no as long as the current is being supplied to 7 and 2 if the current supplied to 7 and 2 goes off then the relay resets itself and the light bulb will, be, will go on now you notice that i have a separate battery here uh, so it's not at all uh, connected to 7 or 2 in any way of course you can depending on what you want to do you can combine pins or connect pins so that you can use the same power but for clarity I show this with separate power sources so it's obvious. Now in this particular case you have this circuit which is connected by the timer and you have this circuit which is connected by the timer. They both act ident identically. So when the current, so the light bulb, by default the light bulb is on here and on here as long as there's no current supplied to the timer. When current is supplied to the timer the light bulb will remain on for one minute if you set the timer for one minute and after one minute both circuit C and circuit D in this picture go off. So that's the way this mode works. Mode A, double pull, double throw, with a delay on both. Okay, so now you have a delayed on. This is set up for delayed on. It's similar to the previous picture I showed you. It's mode A. It's set up for double pull, double throw. But now instead of using the pins 5, and 4, which were normally closed, we're using 6 and 3, which are normally open, which means off. And O, it's confusing, because you could think O is on or O is off, but it really means open. Normally open means off. So if you look at this configuration now, it's normally off. So when there's no current being supplied to the timer, it's normally off. There's no... 6 and 7 are not connected. Now let's say you supply... Uh, current to the timer now. So now, if it was a normal relay, it would go on right away. But because you set the timer for one minute, there's going to be a one minute delay 
and then the light bulb will be gone. We'll go, we'll go on. So this circuit is set up for a delayed on. So in the normal case, when there's no current being supplied to the to the coils, this is off, normally open. Then you supply current to the coils, and it will go on eventually. But there's a delay, one minute, and then the circuit will go on. This circuit, this circuit, as described in the previous example, there parallel circuits that are acting the same, but they're not electrically connected. Now, in this picture, in the previous picture, I showed two delayed offs, and in this picture, I showed two delayed ons. There's no reason why you couldn't set up, for example, a delayed off on one side and a delayed on on the other side. Or you could have all four being activated at once, delayed ons, delayed offs on both sides. But for clarity, I'm just breaking it up like this. So this is how the delayed on works. Now, this is mode B. Not all AH3 timers have a mode B. If you do have a mode B, it just adds a little versatility. What mode B does is it breaks up the timer into two halves, the left half being a timer mode and the right half being a regular relay. So because the little switch on the front is set to mode B, you have 8, 6, and 5 acting as exactly as previously described. So here you have this circuit being normally closed. It's on. It's, it's normally on. You turn, you, you supply current to 7 and 2, and then it will not go off for one minute because it's a one minute delay. But on the right side, it acts like a regular relay. So again, by default, the light bulb is on, but when you supply current to the coils, instead of waiting one minute, the light bulb will go off immediately. So the left side is timed, while the right side acts as a non-timed regular relay. That's what mode B does for you. And again, you have the same, uh, the same thing really here. Uh, here's the here's the delayed on, okay, and it's the same thing as what I showed before. You have this circuit here, which is normally open. It's closed by default, and this one is closed by default also. When you supply current to the coil, this one, which is non-timed, will go on immediately, but this one over here, which is timed will go on only after one minute. It's delayed on. So that's basically how the AH3 relay works. Okay, I'm going to show you one more picture now, one more example. And this is a burglar alarm example. So in this example, what we imagine is that there's some thing in the house which is monitoring the entrances. And if somebody comes in, they trip, they trip off the switch. And when they trip off the switch, current is being supplied to the timer. So, uh, so you have current coming in this neutral and hot. So let's see how this works. Um, what's going to happen, if, first of all, is that you see that the neutral is connected to the 7, and the hot right here is connected to the um, is connected to 2. So when the wire is tripped, the, ti the timer is going to go off. Now the other thing, uh, the timer is going to be activated, and the delay is going to be activated. Now let's, but in this example, unlike the previous example, we're sharing we're sharing the power. So the hot wire is going to eight, which is by default when 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 there's nothing going on, when there's no power supplied, that's normally closed. Okay, so you see that the neutral one end of the neutral is connected directly to the siren. But the hot wire uh, can't, it wants to go through 8 and 5 and up over here so that the siren can go on. Well, when this current is supplied, indeed, that's what happens. It goes on right away. If it was a regular relay, it wouldn't work because this normally closed would immediately become normally open. But because there's a one minute delay, the current is going to flow through here for one minute and then the siren is going to go off. So this is a real life example using a burglar al alarm and a siren. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this and it helped you to understand how this relay worked. Thank you.